What is up guys, it's boy Gansu and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use pretty much any acapella in your beats and it's actually way easier than you'd think. Basically all you gotta be able to do is just kind of fill the rhythm of uh, the song and you're pretty much ready to go. So in today's case I'm gonna be using one of my beats that doesn't actually have an acapella on it and then I'll just grab a random acapella from my drum kit and then we're gonna be synchronizing them. And this goes for acapellas that actually don't match the BPM and it might seem challenging at first. Once you get the basic idea down it's really easy to synchronize them. Let's do it. So I'm inside FL Studio. I already have my beat, which sounds like this. Oh. And now we're going to be using an acapella to actually spice it up a bit. So I think I'm going to try using the Fuck Up Some by Future Acapella. I think Fuck Up Some Commas. Now it's time to synchronize it. So first of all, you do need to know the beats. Uh, BPM. You'll most than likely do this inside the project, so that's not gonna be a problem. Now, you could also try finding out the uh, BPM for the acapella if you can just, you know, look it up on Google, future, fuck up some commas, BPM or tempo, and you could find it. But that doesn't really help unless you wanna speed up or slow down the beat until it's on point with the acapella. In today's video, I'm actually gonna show you guys how to fit the acapella to the beat, not vice versa. So in this case, I'm just gonna place the acapella anywhere, to be honest. And what I'll do is try to get the BPM going in my head. And I'll usually just kind of have the metronome tick playing in my head or just snapping. So if I just solo the acapella, so now that we have the rhythm going, I usually count to 8 or 16. So in this case, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. And why 18 to 16? Because that's where we usually chop the acapella so we can actually stretch it to the BPM of the actual track. So then we can just you know, make it longer or shorter. But we know that the acapella is going to be synchronized, basically. Let's place this kind of like this, because I think this is where it starts. And let's see, I'm going to count to 16. Fake nigga lie to a real nigga. That's just some shit that you don't do. I'm going to stay right for my real nigga. That's just some shit that I'm going to yeah. do. Fuck so it's around this long, I think. That's just some shit that I'm going to yeah. do. But we'll double check once we have everything stretched. So I'll get rid of this beginning part. And now I'll enable stretching. And uh, let's stretch it like this but we'll also enable the uh, metronome so we can actually hear if it's properly synchronized with our tempo and now i'll disable the stretching and just expand this and see if it still is synchronized so since this is kind of an intro i'll just drag this out and then pick a random part let's say from here let's listen to this now so it's no longer synchronized. This could be two reasons. Maybe the original song had some sort of a beat switch up, which means changing the BPM, or it simply just got desynchronized in time because some samples tend to just desync for some reason. But in this case, you can kind of hear the, the beat in the background, so you could also use this to your advantage. So it didn't actually get desynced, we just synchronized a different part, but now it's actually properly synchronized. So what you have to do basically is make sure that you reset the stretching, which is gonna be processing the entire sample again. Now you actually have full control over the, over the pitch, so you can actually tune it to, to your beat. Now I don't know the actual scale of, of the original song, but I do know that the beat, my beat, is on A sharp major, so I can fit those together since, you know, this is a future acapella, it's gonna be auto-tuned, so it's gonna sound off-key. You know what I mean? So we can just go on Google. So since this is in B minor, we need to know the relative in major because my beat is in major. So if we look up B minor relative, it's supposed to be D major. And now all we have to do is pitch up towards A sharp or pitch down. If you have a MIDI keyboard uh, near you, you can just basically count how many steps you have until the desired note. So four semitones, so 400 cents, because otherwise it's gonna be more 
and it's going to be too high. So in this case, 400 cents should do if my math is right. But as you can see, this part tends to get a bit desynchronized. And as I said, this tends to happen. So if you want to use an acapella, you kind of have to periodically just chop it and then make it unique and then restretching it and so on. Unless you're using like Ableton, which is, you know, better at, at doing this kind of things. But I'd suggest you use like only 16, maybe 32 bars at most. Because then again, using acapellas in your songs is kind of a gray area, I guess, when it comes to copyright. Just, you know, whatever. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys managed to learn something from it. Uh, if you have suggestions, please let me know and please uh, suggest something that you know I can do because right now I'm kind of not feeling like producing that much. So I need something easier to do so I can feel good again, you know? Well, yeah, uh, buy my drum kits.